Hello YouTube! Welcome to this third and final part of the video series about configuring centralized user management with Kerberos, OpenLDAP and NFS. In my first video, um, I set up a Kerberos server on SendVM01. Um, on my second video, I installed an OpenLDAP server and configured it. And I also created a couple of users demo user 1, demo user 2 on the LDAP server. In this video I'm going to do the um, final finishing steps um, of configuring NFS and AutoFS service to auto mode home directories on login. Okay let's do that. I'm on SendVM01 uh, which is the Kerberos Open LDAP and NFS server let's see if we have got nfs utils package installed nope let's install it Now let's export the home directory. We need to enable the NFS server service and let's start it failed why There you go. So I have started the NFS server service. You need to open the um, firewall um, for the NFS connections. Okay, um, let's do show mount minus E um, localhost, but that's optional. If you do that, so it shows that you are exporting slash home. Um, okay, okay, that's all we need on SendVM01. Let's go to SendVM02 and see if we have got. Nope. And let's install NFS utils package. I'm also going to install the AutoFS service. Okay, let's do the same on SendVMO3 while it's installing on SendVMO2. So we have installed NFS utils package so that we can mount NFS directories. We have installed AutoFS service. We need to edit a configuration file to tell AutoFS service what to mount, where to mount. It's Etsy auto dot master, and I'm going to add slash home 
and the configuration for slash home directory is going to be let's say I'm going to create auto.autofs service sorry auto.autofs file and this is optional but I'm going to specify the timeout value to be 600 we need to create auto.autofs and tell it basically anything under slash home we are going to mount it from our NFS server which is sent via mobile one and it's going to be slash home ampersand so if you're trying to mount um, demo user one it will mount slash home demo user one from send via mobile one server let's enable the auto FS service and let's stop it I'm not sure if it's already running so let's do restart that's running and let's do the same on Senrium 03 as well it's the auto.master Did I do that correctly? Yep. Enable auto if doesn't start it. Okay, we are ready to test our um, configurations so far but what I would also like to do is um, on SendVM02 and SendVM03 I'm going to edit the uh, SSH configuration not SSHD it's SSH sorry SSH underscore config the client program and I'm going to uncomment CSS API delegate credentials and GSS API authentication and I'm going to change these values to yes and yes so basically what it does is GSS API delegate credentials so say for example you are logging in as demo user one on SynVMO2 um, using Kerberos authentication um, you're logged into SynVMO2 but from SynVMO2 if you want to log into SynVMO3 it might ask you for a password um, which we don't want because we've already got a um, DGT ticket granting ticket um, from SendVMO1 from the Kerberos server so we should be using that ticket um, to get access to SendVMO3 and any other uh, machines that has got the um, uh, Kerberos configurations so we need to delegate the credentials we need to enable this option uncommented and change the value to yes um, so that we can uh, use the um, ticket to log into other machines and we also need to check if we have got GSS API authentication enabled on the um, server GSS API authentication is enabled by default yes and let's reload SSHD 
and uh, let's do the same on uh, Senvium 03 on command GSS API authentication and GSS API delegate credentials change these values to S We are actually just changing the SSH underscore config the client program, not the um, server one. So we don't actually need to do this, but let's do it. There is no harm in doing that. Okay. Um, I'm going to <coughs> exit out of SendVM03. So this is my host machine where I'm running the um, libverty, the KVM virtualization and on my second tab I'm going to quit out of SendVM02 okay so now I'm going to try and log into SendVM02 using the demo user1 account um, so the authentication will be handled by Kerberos and the user information uh, will be obtained from the LDAP server because we don't have demo user 1 and demo user 2 locally on this machine send me a mode 2 so let's try and log in as demo user 1 we also don't have the home directory for demo user 1 locally on send me a mode 2 so it should auto mount the home directory from send me a mode 1 It's asking for a password. Oops. Am I typing the wrong password? Nope. Okay, um, I'll tell you what. I will log in as, oh! I missed one important step so let's leave it like this and back in send vmo one we haven't actually created user principle for uh, those two users demo user one and demo user two let's do that add principle demo user one so it's adding a principal demo user one at jungle.kvm and going to enter a password. And let's add a user principal for demo user two. Okay, that should do. So now let's try logging in as demo user one. There you go. You are now logged in to send VMO2 as demo user 1. So you are being authenticated using the Kerberos server and user information is being fetched from the LDAP directory um, running on send VMO1. So I'm demo user 1 now and if you look my present working directory it's home demo user one and um, if you do a mount and grep for demo home demo user one is being mounted from sendvm one so our nfs autofs open ldap kerberos everything is working so now we have got a centralized user management and if you do k list you will see um the ticket so basically when you enter the password you'll get the um, ticket granting ticket this is the um, KRB TGT ticket granting ticket so in theory from send vmo2 you should be able to use such to send vmo3 without entering a password so let's try that it won't be possible if you have not uh, made the changes to ssh underscore config so you have made those changes to ssh underscore config you enabled GSS API delegate credentials 
so that should do the trick for you so let's try um, before that we'll also try the same thing on Senvium 03 um, let's use um, demo user 2 at Senvium 03 there seems to be a problem That definitely seems to be a problem. Okay. Let's see if auto for service is running. Key demo user one not found in map auto mount. Home Etsy auto dot auto FS timeout equals six hundred. That looks correct. Oh, did you spot the mistake? It should be star. Now if you try and log in as demo user 2 on Senvium 03 There you go Present working directory Okay, home demo user 2 is being mounted from Senvium 01 That's cool Okay, back in Sendmium 02, I'm going to SSH to Sendmium 03, which will ask me for a password. That's fine. Cool, it didn't ask me for a password. So basically, you can hop from one machine to the other machine with your uh, Kerberos credentials. You don't have to enter the password. This is single sign on. And from Senvium 03 as demo user 2, I'm going to log into Senvium 02. You're logged in. That is it. And if you do K list, you can see that we have logged into Senvium 02. So that's the ticket for that. And. What else can I show you? There you go, you've got that. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else um, I can show you. Um, this is centralized user management. You have uh, a Kerberos server doing the authentication for you. You have an LDAP server set up that's serving you the user information. You have NFS and AutoFS service uh, that's doing the auto mount um, for users. Um, and we edited the SSH config um, we made sure GSS API authentication is enabled on sshd underscore config. Um, we enabled all the services. We opened firewall port for Kerberos, LDAP and NFS. That is it. This brings to the end of this video series. This is a three part video. If you haven't um, watched my previous videos, um, I would suggest you to follow uh, the other two videos. If you really like this video, uh, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And if you could share me your thoughts and feedbacks on this video series, that would be great. Um, hopefully, I'll come up with a, another video, uh, uh, maybe related to 
um, LWS or something okay and that's it thanks for watching bye